Hey there guys. So I got a message from one of you um, a couple of weeks ago uh, just talking to you about the things that have happened to them in their lives and you know it, it did sound pretty sad and at the end of it they said you know I've never really said this to anyone at all including my therapist and it it just it reminded me of something that I used to do when I was very young um, suffering with my eating disorder and it was that I would hold things um, right to my chest. I would never disclose any information to anyone. And looking back on it now, I can really understand how detrimental that can be to recovery. When you're in any, any form of therapy, the idea is that you let the person know what you're thinking and the things that you're holding on to and that are having an emotional impact on you. Things that you, say, think about more than once a week are things that you should really disclose because they are things that can actually affect your behaviour. So I'll give you an example back from when I was in college. There was a person who was my friend uh, and he unfortunately passed away from a brain tumour. I've talked about this in a previous video about how it affected me. But I, I never really disclosed this to my therapist uh, and it really did hit me hard. And not for the reason that you might expect. Of course, I was sad that one of my friends had died, but it, it happened so suddenly, first of all. He was he was planned to just go to um, have some cosmetic therapy on one of his scars on his head. And unfortunately, he passed, passed away on the operating table. But th the day, uh, it was Friday, so he, and he was having the operation thing on the Monday, so he, he obviously wasn't going to come in school on Monday. But on the Friday, it was coming out of chemistry lesson, and he 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 was just talking to me. He was he was he was, he was a very strange guy. Um, but he was he was so, he was so nice. Uh, he he was the guy who did a load of magic tricks, and he 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 was very sociable. But yeah, a lot of people didn't really like talking to him because he was different. But yeah, so when we were coming out of the chemistry lesson, he out, out of the blue just offered me a chocolate bar. And I, I, I don't know why, but I just declined. I was like, no, I'm alright, man. Don't, don't worry about it. And I just remember him looking disappointed. Uh, and I think it was because he, he thought that I wasn't friendly enough with him. But, you know, I, he, he was one of my close friends back in college. And I, I don't know, I think he must have just thought that by me saying no, that I wasn't really his friend. And that was the last thing that I ever said to him. And... The next thing I find out is that he's dead, and it, re it really hit me hard because I was like, you know, that that was the last thing that I said to one of my friends, and now he's gone. And yeah, it, I mean, I was really, I was really sad for quite some time, and a lot of people didn't understand why. Uh, I mean, sure, one of my friends, had cl one of my friends had died, but it, it was going on for a bit too long, and I, I wasn't really saying much to anyone, and. I wasn't really saying anything to my therapist either until I realised how how much of an effect it had on me, and I told my therapist. And basically, from the time of me going into the therapy session to leaving, I felt so much better. And it's 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 difficult to comprehend how much better I felt, but it was huge. Just letting that go, and being told that. A, it wasn't my fault, and B, there was nothing that I could do about it now. Uh, you know, you, you've just got to remember the times that you had with the person. The way you act with them in the last instance isn't a measure of what you've done with them before. And thinking like that, it made me realise that, yeah, I may have been a dick, <laughs> you know, with the last time that I saw him, but it doesn't mean that I wasn't a good friend to him for the time that I knew him. And that, I mean, that, that really did help me. And just being able to speak to my therapist about this openly made me realise that I should do it more often. And, you know, more therapy sessions happen and the more I disclosed and the better I felt. So, I mean, if you are having difficulty letting someone know, you've just got to put it into perspective of how, how the benefit that you can get from it. You've got to realise that the therapist... Every, you know, everything is 100% confidential. You can trust them. They're only there to help you. They're not there to harm you. If you don't feel that you can talk to a therapist, try and speak to someone close to you, uh, because that, that too can help. 
uh, well, when I was struggling to speak to my therapist beforehand, I did have one close friend who I was talking to quite a lot, and it did help, but not in the same way that talking to a professional helped, because you can you can let, let something go off your chest to a friend, and they can make you feel better by saying some nice things, but the therapist can put everything into perspective and make you think rationally as well, because they've got all the training behind it. Uh, I mean, if you are having any difficulty, please let me know, and I can... I'll try and help you get to that point of realisation that you need to speak to someone about it. Because I have done this with other people and they eventually tell someone and they send me a message like maybe two months later saying how much it helped them. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. And if you are willing to speak with me, please feel free to do so. So yeah, I mean, that's one personal experience from me and it, it helped. If you have any other questions related to the subject or anything that I haven't really explained properly, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, also please let me know. For now, thanks for watching.